So, you've survived your harebrained youth. It wasn't easy, what with Woodstock 94 and all. Now, settled into a bungalow in the herbs, you bid farewell to slammed hatchbacks, red brake calipers, and flagrant GT badges. What didn't change is your quest for roads to nowhere and rapture at the wheel. Who says that kids' braces and funding an IRA mean that you have to be dead inside? Not Audi. Several months ago, the new thumped its arch rivals. The in the U in our out west comparison test. Audi's smallest sedan won by a fair margin. Providing the best combo of creature comforts, performance, and driving enjoyment. But can sports sedan salvation be had without spending for the Zad bigger engine? To find out, we tested the more humble A31. AT, which starts at $30. 795 or $3,000 less than the two. Zero T Quattro, share fundamentals with S, including the U which means that agile handling, precise steering, and efficient construction are part of the deal. Compared with its five-door predecessor, the new A3 is larger in every dimension except height, yet is 100 pounds lighter model to model. A convertible, a hot S3 sedan, a turbo diesel, and a gas electric hybrid will soon join the throng, notching down from the 2. 0 T to the 1. A T sacrifices a significant 50 horsepower, 58 pound feet of torque, and Audi's vaunted four wheel drive system. But dash strokers won't be disappointed with its magnificent air vents, leather trim, huge sunroof and 10-speaker audio system all of which are standard in both A3S. While a manual transmission is no longer available, sticky Continental Sport Contact 2 tires and 18-inch wheels are an $800 alternative to the standard. 17-inch package, turbo lag is not an issue, but the 1.8T is still more than a second slower.